Hi, I'm uh, Sandy O'Rourke, and a lot of you already out there uh, know me as the uh, advanced person from the four-month road tour that we just completed. And uh, for those of you that I know out there, hello again, and uh, we'll hope to see you real soon. I'm currently involved in, uh, in preparations for the parents' conference. As a parent uh, myself, this is an area that I'm, I'm very much concerned with and hope that we can uh, bring parents together from all over the country. Hi, I'm David Lemos. I am a, a writer and a playwright, and I've been working here at the Names Project uh, since about December when I saw the quilt in Moscone Center here in San Francisco and decided as a way of responding to it that I would uh, create a piece uh, about the Names Project and also the stories that are included in the quilt, many of which I'm sure you're familiar with or have your own versions of. The play opens September 30th and will be performed until October 9th, so I hope that you can come to Washington and see this. Hi, I'm Steve Abeta, and I've been involved with the project for since it began, mostly through work that I started in making panels for friends that I was memorializing. Uh, my involvement just became more intense over time. When we went to Washington last year, I was very involved in the walkway system in getting walkways made for going to Washington. Uh, since that time, I've modularized the system. I've been very closely involved in modularizing the system so that we could retain the walkways that we had and make other displays from one set of walkways. This is a to scale drawing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Nine patch is a traditional design of quilt and each nine patch will have 12 feet of walkways around it. The center is going to be done as a, as a rainbow okay. across, the, across here. And then each of these black dots is the, the signature square from each city. Right. For the total walkways will have about six miles uh, that will be required. All right, so the whole design takes 6.2 miles of walkway fabric, and we only have about two made, right? And, they're, yeah, and they're, the volunteers in Boston are going to be putting together the, uh, all the rest of the walkways. We're buying four miles, three and a half miles of walkway fabric and having it shipped to Boston and all the volunteers there um, working with Tim are going to be sewing it all together and cutting it and grommeting it so that it all fits together. For a more serious side of the organization, uh, Jeanette and I have been working to coordinate volunteers in Washington. Jeanette's been communicating with the chapters, and now we're trying to make sense out of the volunteer forms that you've filled out. We need thousands more of these things. We only have 200 sitting on our desks. At the only most. 200. So send in those volunteer forms immediately. We need them as soon as possible. Print, if you could, so that we can read them and sign up for the shifts that you want to work under the appropriate column with the job descriptions that you can read here. Uh, any of you who can get there by early Friday morning, it will be great because we'll have volunteer training all day Friday, uh, even into Friday evening. If you can't get there till Saturday, we will do some volunteer training at the site on Saturday. You'll be receiving something in the mail soon. Um, and I will not be wearing this hat in Washington. <laughs> oh, hi. Come on in. Hi, I'm Dan Sorrow, and I'm the media coordinator here at the Names Project. And um, obviously, we've had a lot of success in the last year as the project has grown from a small grassroots organization here in the Castro District and uh, grown first throughout the city and the state and nationally and now internationally. There are a lot of really good pieces uh, of coverage upcoming that I'd like to mention to you. Just today, in fact, there's some footage that you'll see of the CBS film crew from 48 Hours that was in the workshop today, and they are doing a piece on AIDS and minorities, which is going to be airing sometime in October, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, ABC News Nightline did a, 
a piece which is going to be airing sometime in the near future as well. And in fact, the Guinness Book uh, of World Records in their new book is listing the Names Project as the largest quilt in the world. And one of their fall TV specials is going to feature a piece about the project. Also, the National Geographic issue in October, uh, as we approach the 100th anniversary of National Geographic, they're going to be doing a piece on AIDS and some of the Names Project will be covered in that. And in addition, we've also taken out some display ads, uh, which are going to be appearing in, in a lot of the gay and lesbian press around the country. And in terms of Washington specifically, of course, we do need a tremendous amount of, of help and effort. I'm Mike Smith. I'm the general manager of the project. Um, I'm sort of the person everything gets coordinated through, but usually that means they ignore me, uh, except when there's a crisis and then somebody calls and blames me. Uh, we're doing real well with getting ready for Washington. You've met most of the people uh, who are around here regularly, but in the course of any week, there's three or four hundred people through the workshop, sewing panels together, working on the media committee, um, doing everything it takes to get this quilt to Washington. Um, and we're a lean, cheap organization. Nobody gets paid very much. It's mostly still a volunteer organization. Um, we're able to get things like uh, a truck to get the quilt to Washington for free. Hopefully, we'll get walkway fabric for free. Uh, but there's still a tremendous number of costs, postage and telephones and all sorts of things. We need anything you can do. Buy a t-shirt, buy a book, um, make a donation to the Names Project. Uh, it's all well spent and it all goes toward getting the quilt to Washington. We hope to see everybody in Washington. Thanks. I think all of us who work here at the Names Project do so with a great sense of privilege. Uh, the AIDS epidemic is the worst thing that ever happened to any of us. It's the tragedy of our lives and we know it. But somehow out of this horror, we've managed to bring something of great beauty that draws people together and gives them the strength to go on with their lives. Um, that's largely because of you folks out there who've written checks, made the panels, sent us your love in letters and postcards and photographs. We really need to keep getting all of that from you. We need your money so we can move the quilt to Washington. We need the panels so that the quilt will continue to grow and show the rest of the world what our experience has been. But more than anything else, we need your love and we need your presence in Washington, D.C. on the weekend of October 8th and 9th. I hope every one of you will join us there that weekend. We need you. We love you. Thanks for being a part of the Names Project. The AIDS epidemic has cost America more than 40,000 lives. It's hard to understand how something that has touched so many is understood by so few. To see the Names Project quilt is to understand. To understand the need for comfort and compassion for the sick and dying. To understand the loss. To understand the need to act to end the loss. See the quilt in Washington, D.C., October 8th and 9th and understand. Call 1-800-USA-NAME or contact your local AIDS organization to find out how you can help and see the quilt.